What's up guys, it's JJ here and welcome to Victory Lane. This is the show that I've been most excited about doing since we started Next Topic Media. This is my passion, uh, NASCAR racing in general, but mainly NASCAR is my passion. Uh, it's what I love. So yeah, um, set up behind me, you know, we've got some NASCAR pops, another one up there, that's Chase Elliott, uh, some other guys over here, another Chase Elliott one over there. And then we've got the diecast case behind me. So I will probably be doing like a diecast like collection type video where we'll go through all of these. Probably go through some of these pops as well. Um, got some 124s up on top. You can't really see them. And a, then a bunch more down here below me. So yeah, but let's jump right into the news. So. We're going to be uploading these twice a week. On Monday, you will get a race review. Uh, we'll go through the race, kind of break down the race on Monday. So I'll shoot that probably after the race on Sunday night normally, but it won't go out until Monday. And then on Thursday, we'll get a like weekend preview. Um, I'll give predictions for the race, kind of what I'm thinking going forward. And we'll also cover any like big news stories that come out during the week. So for this week, um, we're going to just talk about for one thing, as far as news goes, Kyle Busch, you know, everybody, that's what everybody's been talking about for months now is, will he be in the 18 or if he's not in the 18, where will he be? Honestly, at this point, it's looking like he's not going to be in the 18, um, with, especially with Ty Gibbs getting to fill in for Kurt Busch, um, you know, he's gotten some races under his belt in the next gen car. He hadn't done terrible. He hadn't just amazed anybody, but nobody really expected wins or top fives from him right now. So I think that experience is going to make it a lot easier for Gibbs to just um, move his grandson into the 18. And so that leaves Kyle Busch, um, you know, two or three years ago, you know, I'd say the most talented driver in NASCAR the best driver in NASCAR now, you know, I would, I would still say he's a top, he, I mean, any team would want him, um, on their team, so I'd say he's still probably a top five driver in the sport, maybe he's fallen off just a little bit, but, you know, he, he's not to the point of he's not gonna have a ride, but, you know, when you start looking at the caliber of the quality of the rides that are open, you know, it's nobody that's open is going to be up on level with Gibbs. The only team that I would say confidently is on a level with Gibbs is Hendrick. And you look at their roster for next season, it's full already. You've got Bowman in the 48. I know he's signed through next year. I'm not sure if it was a multi-year deal or not. And then you've got Larson, Elliott, Byron, that they'll be there for. I think they're all on multi-year deals. So Hendrick's not really an option. So you're going to have to probably take a down step no matter what. Penske, um, that's another thing. Joey Logano just signed a multi-year extension uh, either today or yesterday. Blaney signed a multi-year extension, I'm going to say, last week. So, you know... And Cendric, I mean, he has had one of the better rookie seasons we've seen in quite a few years. So Penske's not an option. You know, I'd say they might, at least some weeks, are on the level of Gibbs and Hendrick. And then, I mean, you've got the next tier, I'd say. Um, Stuart Haas, you know, they're, you know, three years ago, best team in the series, probably. Um, now, you know... Kevin Harvick's turned it around these past few weeks. Briscoe was really good at the beginning of the season. He's kind of fallen off. And then Custer and Almirall are just, you know, 20 play, 20th place cars most weeks. Um, Almirall is set, still claims he's undecided on his future for next year now. I'm hearing and it's becoming more likely that he will not retire and will be back in the 10 next year. Um, so that ride won't be open. So then... If you're looking at Stuart Haas, you've got to probably cut out Cole Custer. And I don't think they're ready to do that. 
I would argue that if you can go get Kyle Busch in the 41, sorry Cole Custer, but you're gone. But it really doesn't look like Stuart Haas is wanting to do that. So then you've got, you know, uh, the rumors have been colleague. Um, you know, maybe, I want to say, you know, does Trackhouse maybe look to add a third car? I don't think so, but I think it would be a good option uh, for them, especially with Kyle Busch being out there. I think they probably it's probably best for them to stay at two cars, but, you know, I kind of wanted to throw that out there. So, really, I don't know where Kyle Busch is going to go. You know, Colleague is probably a big step down. Trackhouse, I would say, I mean, it's a step down from Gibbs, but not... We've seen them be easily the second best Chevy team and consistently run in the top 10, top five. So, you know, I think if, if they wanted to go to a three-car team, that would be probably the best option for Kyle right now. I don't see that happening. So we'll see. We'll see where he ends up. I think he will end up in a ride. It's just going to be how competitive, like we saw with uh, Brad Keselowski. You know, he was still winning races last season and now he's at Roush and you know Roush is not what they've been were in the early 2000s I mean so you know he's not been anywhere in the top near the top 10 mostly all year so that'll be the interesting thing to see and that I'll be keeping up with and hopefully keeping y'all up to date with but let's jump into this weekend at Daytona playoff standings it's getting close um Blaney Ryan Blaney has a pretty good lead on Martin Truex on the bubble right now, but, you know, you've got to look at, um, this is Daytona. Somebody that has not won could very easily end up winning this race, and Blaney and Truex points don't matter at all. Um, so it'll be, uh, very interesting to, it should be a great race. I mean, it really should. I would say, you know, if, Especially if somebody that is outside the top 17 right now wins, they'll obviously be in. But if they don't win, I'd say Blaney will get in on points. Or, I think Blaney is one of the favorites coming into this week. You know, he is a great restrictor plate racer. I could very easily see him winning um, this week. And, you know, he even though he has that good points lead... You can't be, he cannot be comfortable with that because he knows somebody that is not in that uh, top 16 or Martin Truex Jr. could easily win uh, a Daytona race. And I'm actually, uh, we'll get to my pick later. So, but I, I could very likely see somebody that is not in the picture right now winning. So, let's, let's go to that, my picks for this week. Um... It, I had to pick somebody for this week. As much as I like Ryan Blaney, and I really do, I, I, I'm very, I really want to pick him. But, I just don't know if I see it. I'm actually going with another guy that's outside of the playoffs, that has been up front all season at restrictor plates. Had some good runs at other tracks as well. Really overperformed. Definitely our expectations coming into the season and outperformed his car. I'm going with Eric Jones to win at Daytona. He's won this race before, this exact Daytona race. Um, he's looked fast, like I said, at a lot of tracks this season. But he's been up front, been very close to winning um, Talladega. He's run up front at Daytona, was good at Atlanta. So... I really do like Eric Jones to win this week. Um, I think he's a very good, he's got a very good chance. Like I said, also watch out for Blaney. You know, there's a lot of guys in the playoffs, of course, that, you know, Hamlin, Logano, uh, those are guys that are always going to be find their way to the front at the end of restrictor plate races. So a lot of these playoff guys as well, you know, they aren't going to just roll over. You know, you can still earn playoff points, things like that to, carry you into the playoffs so Eric Jones is my guy that I think I think he ends up winning this race because they know it is a win or nothing for them um so he's going to be going all out for the win 
we'll see. We'll see how that happens, how that goes. Um, I'm so excited to watch this week's race. So, yeah, um, we'll just have to kind of see what happens. Um, so that's kind of my preview going into the week. Uh, kind of the introduction, the first episode here of Victory Lane. So, yeah, like I said, I'll be doing a diecast collection video at some point. We'll go through all of this stuff. Um, our social medias, all of them will be down below. The Next Topic Media Instagram. Next Topic Sports TikTok. Uh, really would love for y'all to go follow that. Um, we do some great stuff over there. Then we got my Instagram and stuff will be below. So, yeah, um, that's all we've got for this week. We'll be back Monday with the race review. So, I'll see y'all then.